Anyway, this day I got into the shed, uh, moved all the materials out. Fence running along at the back of the shed, hose and shovels and so on, and I led them up against the fence as I got them out. The reason I took them all out is I want to get to this paint. So I get to the paint and I got a big tin and I scraped it all into there and I mixed it up. And it came out of a colour that you you'd never see or buy anywhere. <laughs> And having done that, I thought, what am I going to do with it? But here's all these tools leaning against the fence. So, and I got a son-in-law who was forever borrowing tools and then saying to me, no, they're not yours. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, he, and he never returned? And he wouldn't return. No. But they were so, <laughs> I went and three inches from the blade or, you know, the bottom of it, I painted three inches of paint right around the hands. There they were. Couldn't mistake in their mind. And Gary and Gail turned up for dinner. So what have you been doing, Mel? I said, Oh, I've just been cleaning out the shit. He said, What's all this gear? And I said, Oh, I had a bit of paint there, so I thought I'd uh, paint them over. I said, For people who borrow them and then say, No, it's mine, I said, I won't be able to do it again because. It's the only colour you'll ever get in this paint. It's made up of 52 different varieties, you know. Heinz paint. Heinz <laughs> paint. <laughs> and uh, he said, oh, that's a good idea, good idea. So they come in and have dinner, Sunday dinner. It's a normal thing for them. And off they go. Well, I don't want to see him again unless I run into him in the street somewhere or whatever for another week. Or but I go home for dinner next day. And my wife says to me, Gary was here. And I said, what people? She said, well, he came and asked if there was any of that paint left. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, why did he want the paint? Well, she said, you, you, you wouldn't, didn't want it again. You said you didn't know what you were going to do with it. So she said, I gave it to him. Oh. I said, oh. And I thought he's waiting for me now. He's got tools of mine around there, like already. But, uh, so I wait. Didn't go around. I waited for about three days. I went around. He was he's a mechanic by trade, and he was backyard and mechanic. And I went around and working on the car. But as I drove in here, I fenced the lot inside, and I see all these tools painted around. And talked for a while. He said, What are you doing over here? And I said, Oh, I'm just passing, you know. And I thought, I'd let him see what you're up to. Oh, I should just put him on some extra car. Keeps on looking sideways at the fence, you know. And I said, What's this gear? Oh, he said, the Bloody people that borrow tools off me, he said, in my <laughs> <laughs> I, He said, I thought I'd. I, <laughs> <laughs> Leap out of your book and so uh, I've done the same. <laughs> <laughs> and of course I can't do anything about it there. <laughs> what can I do? You know, I can't say, well hang on, before you painted that, that was mine. <laughs> but years after, Gary was always one of these fellows like this. How am I going to make a buck? I'm never going to make a dollar, you know. You Tell me, how am I going to make a dollar? And so I started him off on land. I said, look, I, I'll give you a deal on land. I don't know a block of land that you could make a lot of money on if you treat it sensibly. You know, and so, okay, he went into it. So years later, he'd already been bought a motel and then he'd been into real estate on the table there. I'll leave it to you. And we went up to, he, he bought another uh, big caravan, caravan park, park at Mission or Out yeah, near Tully. Out near Tully. And we get we gets out of the caravan while I was going over the ablution block and Gary's over there digging a, a ditch with some fellows and he says to me, what's the old fella like? Is he in a good mood over there? I said, he's always in a good mood, Gary. He says, well, he said, you see this shovel I'm using here? He said, I borrowed it from him. I want to know whether it was for the long term or the short term. <laughs> <laughs> and I 
I've got to tell you, this is years and years later. And uh, I said, well, go, go on over and ask him. <laughs> and I'm standing there. I watch him walk over, knock, knock, knock on the caravan door, and milk comes out, and there's a do 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 long term, short term, and ah, great raucous laughter. And uh, so that was that story. But oh, it was he a character. Like like oh, he didn't have the shovel back. Oh, he never got a No, 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 no. <laughs> but you know, he says to me, um, "You're staying at this caravan park now. Don't try and pay. Don't try and pay." I said, "Why, Gary? We want to pay." He said, "While ever I'm alive, and while ever I've got anything, Milt, it's, Milt Evans has it for nothing." He made me the first buck I ever had.